Hi guys, uh, this is GTM Server and uh, in this video I want to show you how to use Google Analytics 4 to send data from uh, Google Tag Manager web container to server container. So let's get started. The first thing that we will need to do is to create a Google Analytics 4 client inside the server container. So click on Clients tab and then click New, add client name and select here Google Analytics 4 and click Save. Then uh, go to the tags, create a new tag. Uh, tag type should be Google Analytics 4, add your Google Analytics 4 ID. And here um, you should add event name. You have two options here. You can select either a standard name or you can add a custom name or use a dynamic event name. I will use a dynamic event name. Uh, this tag should trigger every time uh, Google Analytics 4 client is claimed, in my case. Uh, then click Save. Now go to the web container and we will set up a GA4 inside the web container. Uh, click New Tag, add a tag name. Select here Google Analytics 4 configuration, add uh, Google Analytics 4 ID, uh, click fields to set. Here we need to add transport URL. Um, with the help of this transport URL, um, Google Analytics 4 request will be sent to, the, to your tagging server. So I already have it uh, as a variable here. Uh, so I will select a variable Um, as I will use all page views as a trigger. Now I will click save. Uh, now we will need to check that the, the setup works correctly. Open the preview mode of the web and server container and um, check that Google Analytics 4 are triggered in both containers. So this is my web container and this is my demo store. I will refresh the page. And here um, you can go to the uh, web container and see that uh, Google Analytics 4 uh, tag triggered. And then go to the server container and see that uh, Google Analytics 4 uh, tag triggered as well. Uh, now we will go back to the web container and then uh, we will set up uh, GA4 view content event. C create a new tag. GA4 view item. I will create a. Um, here you will need uh, to choose a Google Analytics 4 event. Then, as a configuration tag, uh, choose a, a configuration tag that we created on the previous step. Um, add event name. You can select either standard name from by clicking this link or uh, add your own event name. I will add a recommended event name view item. Then here you will see event parameters and user parameters. Uh, you can send inside the event parameters, you can send any information about your event or product. And inside the user properties, you can send any information about users on your site. Uh, why you might want to send these parameters? For example, let's say you want to set up Facebook conversion API. And uh, to do that, uh, you will need to have data inside the server container because uh, you will you will be setting up Facebook conversion API inside the server container. Uh, to get data into the server container, you need to send it from somewhere. Uh, one of the ways uh, to get data in inside the server container is use Google Analytics 4, is basically what uh, uh, I'm showing uh, at the moment. And um, Facebook conversion API um, requires uh, to send user parameters. Uh, Facebook uses these user parameters to match users uh, from your site to users in their uh, database. Uh, so basically here inside the Google Analytics 4 tag, uh, you can add uh, user details like uh, uh, email first, last name, and then use it uh, uh, for setting up, for example, Facebook conversion API. Uh, 
so let me add event parameters. So I want to uh, add product name. I have it as a data layer variable. Um, product ID. Uh, price and currency. Uh, inside the user properties, I uh, will send the email address of uh, users who are logged in. Um, I will use a custom event view item as a trigger for this tag. Okay, so I clicked save. I will click preview. And I will refresh server preview um, as well. Okay, then uh, let's open the product page on the demo store. And uh, you can see custom event view item and uh, Google Analytics 4 event uh, triggered here. And um, you see that uh, we have a product name, product ID, price and currency. Uh, user property is blank because I'm not logged in. Um, let's see what we have inside the server container. So Google Analytics 4 tag triggered. Uh, let's check event parameters. So here we have as well product currency, uh, product name and product price inside the event data. Okay, so the uh, next step would be to uh, get uh, these parameters that we've sent uh, in the event data to the variables inside the server container. Uh, you can see here that I already have uh, uh, so this variable setup. Let me show you how it looks. So I will go to the server container, uh, click variable. And for example, let's let me show you this product name. So uh, basically the logic uh, behind building um, event data variable inside the server container is similar to data layer variable inside the web container. You just need to add here a key path. So um, let's go to event data. So um, my product name is like lace here and uh, that is why I created event uh, data variable with the key path product name. Okay, let's uh, create another tag inside the web container and here we will want to um, track purchases. I will again select uh, tag type Google Analytics for event. I will select the configuration tag, uh, add event name. It will be purchase. Um, then I will add the product name, um, price, ID, and currency. Uh, I will again have a data layer variables for uh, uh, for these uh, event parameters. I will just uh, select it here. Uh, one product price. I can't find the product price inside the variable, so I, I will put it as a static value. Um, let's go to the user properties. Um, 
user who, who makes a purchase on the site should have an email address and uh, I should have it inside my uh, variables. Yeah, so this is the email address. Uh, let's add first name. And last name. First name. And again here. Last name. This tag should trigger on the custom event purchase. I will click save. Okay, let's open the preview mode of uh, the web and server container and uh, check that uh, purchase event that we've recently set up worked correctly. Uh, so this is my demo store. Um, let me make a test purchase. Okay, this is my test information and I will click place order. So order received. We can see that Google Analytics 4 tag inside the web container triggered and this is the information that it has. Let's go to the uh, server container. Um, we may need to wait a little bit because the server container has uh, a delay um, with the request. So, okay, now uh, we can see that uh, we received the purchased event inside the Google Analytics. And uh, let's see the event data. So here is the user data and uh, information about the product. Um, so you should uh, transfer these user data into variables uh, to use it for, for example, for Facebook conversion API or for any other um, events. So basically, uh, I already have um, this variable. Now let me show you how it looks. Um, so uh, variable type is event data as well, and this is the path uh, to this uh, uh, variable. Um, so it looks like, one second, I lost my my server container preview. So yeah, this is it. So basically, I used uh, this event name and uh, uh, this uh, value uh, of the event data uh, to to get a user email um, okay that's it i hope the, that this video helped you to understand the, how to send data from web container to the server container and uh, um, yeah uh, if you have any questions feel free to send a comment to this video or ask questions in the community that's it uh, thank you and have a good day bye